The sorority community began at Valparaiso University in 1917, and in 1960, the university built Shiel Hall in order to house the sororities that were on the campus at that time. It was a great place of social interaction as well as living and learning. I spent three years either as a pledge or an active member. It's just interesting to look back and think about the good times, the growth times, the tears of joy and sadness. It was certainly a place of great memories and uh, great friendships. In August of 1962, I moved into Shield Hall, and it was a brand new facility then. I think it was surprisingly nice. We, we didn't think it would be as good as it turned out to be. We were astounded at how long the hallways were. It seemed like it took forever to go from the north end to the south end. My mom was in Greek life here at Valparaiso University, and she lived in Sheol, I lived in Sheol, my aunts lived in Sheol. It was very interesting that we all lived in the same place. My favorite memory living in Sheol was everyone having their doors open on the weekend, just being able to have a sister across the hall that you could vent to about something or share an accomplishment with. I believe the university has always had a strong commitment to the living and learning environment and certainly community living is part of that. And so for the sororities, Shield Hall had been in existence for close to 50 years and was in need of renovation. And that in combination with the growth in undergraduate enrollment encouraged the university to think about adding additional facilities. Well, we've been very excited to see what's been happening in our sorority community. It has grown over the past three years alone, almost 25%, and the women were running out of space. We entered into a partnership that allowed us to build a facility for the sororities. So this is the new sorority housing complex. Um, it houses 150 women in six different individual units. They are housed in singles, doubles, triples, and quad rooms. Yes, moving day to the new sorority housing complex will be crazy, but everyone will be extremely excited to be moving in. So my mom's reaction was she was ecstatic for me. So she was like loving decorating, moving everything around. Um, she took pictures, posted them everywhere, every angle possible. For over 50 years, the women lived in Shield Hall and they lived in a common community with one another. So the new complex, we wanted to bring all of those aspects over while also giving the women individual identity. So in the new complex, each has their letters on the front of their house and on the back of the house, but yet they also still share space with the other chapters through the basement, through common entrances on the back, and through shared entrances on the front. So the full history of the sorority community is being honored through signage out front. So each chapter will have a sign that will have their current national affiliation and then also their previous local affiliations. The new sorority housing complex allows the women to do many more things than they were able to do in Shield Hall. First, the chapter rooms are about two times the size of their previous chapter rooms, which now allows them all to have chapter meeting, all their recruitment events, their sisterhood development activities, partnerships with other student organizations, and all those things can now happen in their new home. So another cool feature in the housing is when you walk in, there's a beautiful fireplace, and above that is the charter of all of the sororities, which really is something that we all hold dear to our heart because they're the ones that started our organization. And then we have our very own library that we can swipe into. It's got a TV, a brand new couch, and we get a place for women to hang out. There's cubbies in the bathroom, which is really exciting because you won't have to carry your shower caddy with you, you won't have to carry your towel. The feature I'm most excited about in the new housing would probably be the kitchen. I like to cook myself, so it'll be nice to have all of the appliances there that are brand new. The women in the, each one of their rooms has individualized bed rails with their chapter names on it, so that's a really unique feature. And there also is a crafting space in the basement. So Valparaiso University students are very creative. Our sorority women love to do projects together. And we created specific space in the basement for them to be able to do that. One of the other unique features about the complex is on the front. And as people drive by, they see these three words that are made up of lowercase Greek letters. And they are the Greek word for service, leadership, and scholarship, which are the values that align between the university and every fraternity and sorority on campus. I often believe that there's a thousand teachable moments in a college education. Many of them take place in the classroom, but many of them also take place outside the classroom. And so learning to work side by side, and also interact on a regular basis with people who may have different views or perspectives than yours is part of that living and learning experience. 
I think that this complex is just representative of the pride that the university has in our sorority women and that they believe in their future. They are model citizens when we talk about leading and serving in church and society. We really wanted this to be the central place for the women to feel comfortable on campus, to live with one another, and celebrate their sisterhood together. I would like to thank all the university's support for this new housing complex. President Heckler's support, he's been extremely influential in the whole process, um, the board's help as well, and all of the rest of the university staff that have really made this dream a reality.